The U.S. Navy's Special Warfare Community has been very secretive about its latest stealth boats employed by several special forces, such as the Navy SEALs, Green Berets, and Marine Force Recon. However, some of these boats have been recently spotted around the world during maritime exercises with allied nations. Special Operations Command, or SOC, employs three types of boats, the Combatant Craft Assault, the Combatant Craft Medium, and the Combatant Craft Heavy, or Sea Lion. Each is explicitly tailored according to the mission and has unique state-of-the-art technology. The boats can be launched from the decks of ships and sling-loaded into action by Chinook helicopters. Their stealth features include retractable sensors and communications masts, high-caliber machine guns, grenade launchers, armor plating, and composite materials that make them resistant to rust while keeping them light and durable. Moreover, SOC has specified that these boats are only the beginning of more powerful and classified technology that is currently under development. However, there have already been leaks that point to features that might enhance a crew's infiltration and extraction capabilities from an active combat zone, drastically changing the way it's been done for years. Special Operations Boats the United States Special Operations Command, or SOCOM, has a small fleet of Special Operations boats, designed specifically for the most dangerous missions a Green Beret, Navy SEAL, or any other elite personnel may find themselves in. Each boat is designed for different operations and mission objectives, such as stealth infiltration and extraction, or all-out guns blazing into enemy territory. Even so, SOCOM has sought to modernize its fleet of stealth surface craft during the last decade. As such, the Naval Special Warfare Community, or NSW, has taken the stealth boats to the next level with continuous tests and the development of new technology. In 2017, the United States Central Command, or CENTCOM, posted several pictures and videos of the special boats, making their way to the United Arab Emirates. The combatant craft were then seen with members from Saudi Arabia, Kuwait, Qatar, and others. Although little information is known about these vessels, Footage and pictures from Exercise Eager Lion 17 gave the public a sneak peek of their capacity under the expertise of Special Warfare Combatant Craft crewmen who are specially trained to man them. Combatant Craft Assault The first and most common of the boats is the Combatant Craft Assault, or CCA, developed in the 2010s by United States Marine Incorporated. She's used for medium-range missions, such as the insertion and extraction of special operators, conducting coastal reconnaissance, littoral patrol, and other classified missions. The 14-foot-long craft features a hull made of composite materials that make her resistant to rust while keeping her light and durable. She's also powered by two diesel engines that allow her to reach speeds of more than 60 miles per hour, with an approximate operational range of 400 miles. The boat can carry four crew members and eight Special Operations Forces, with an arsenal that comprises an M134 minigun, an M240 and 50 caliber machine guns, and a Mark 19 40mm grenade launcher. SOCOM is also analyzing if the CCA can carry guided missiles or small drones for more intense operations that require additional firepower. Moreover, the CCA can be deployed and dropped from C-17 aircraft and warships and even sling-loaded into action by MH-47 Chinooks. Combatant Craft Medium Special Forces operators also employ a second stealth vessel, the Combatant Craft Medium, or CCM, which was initially developed in the early 2010s by shipbuilder Oregon Ironworks, now known as Vigor Works. As the name implies, the CCM is larger and heavier than the standard CCA, and is meant to replace the aging Mark V Special Operations craft, which features several fixed weapon mounts. Leaked pictures and footage show some prototypes of the CCM, with a twin 50 caliber machine gun placed at the rear. It makes sense that, like its predecessor, she will feature a remote weapon station to enhance her combat roles. The Alligator the other known craft already employed by the Navy through the Naval Special Warfare Program is the Combatant Craft Heavy, also known as the SEAL Insertion, Observation, and Neutralization Craft, or Sea Lion. This craft is a fully enclosed, semi-submersible vessel, with several features tailored specifically to the operations conducted by the elite Navy SEALs. She is also larger, heavier, and more proficient than its peers. The Sea Lion has retractable communication masts and sensors, diving equipment, an inflatable rubber raiding craft 
and other innovations still in development that will make SEAL operations stealthier and more lethal. There are currently four types of combatant craft heavy boats. The Alligator, Sea Lion 1, Sea Lion 2, and Sea Lion 3. The Alligator, the first boat of the class, was developed in the mid-1990s and transferred to the Israeli military after testing with US forces. She displaced 23.4 tons at a length of 19.8 meters, a width of 3.96 meters, and a maximum surface speed of 30 knots, or 8 while submerged. SEAL Infiltration Boat The Alligator was succeeded by Sea Lion 1, designed in collaboration with VigorWorks and the Combatant Craft Division of the U.S. Navy's Naval Surface Warfare Center. She was delivered in January of 2003 and underwent trials with the Navy SEALs for over a decade before two hulls were refurbished and reached operational status. The program cost the Navy around $10 million, but the enhancements paid off. Sea Lion 1 is longer and wider than the Alligator, with a more spacious cabin where her two ribs, or rigid inflatables, could be accommodated. Additionally, the boat can carry diver propulsion vehicles in storage lockers, and a door at the stern allows them to be launched and recovered. The wave-piercing hulls and the use of thermal and acoustic insulation materials further enhance the capabilities of stealth, speed, and aggression for maritime interdiction capabilities. The Sea Lion 1 also includes the latest navigation and detection systems, such as the Combatant Craft Forward-Looking Infrared or CCFLIR pod, which has day color and low-light cameras, a laser pointer, and a laser rangefinder. Meanwhile, the Furuno DRS-4D radar features a Furuno GPS and many essential systems for communication with several military assets. Externally, the Sea Lion features flat deck areas with retractable equipment, while the enclosed cabin is climate-controlled and comprises a crew, engine, and electrical compartment. The crew compartment has seven deck-mounted seats and additional space for up to four standing passengers, and has the navigator and coxswain stations with the steering wheel controlled by tillers and joysticks. Moreover, the payload compartment can also be configured according to the mission requirements. Although the Sea Lion can be used with a remote station placed at the top side deck, the craft still features the essentials of any boat. Future Upgrades According to a 2013 request for information issued by SOCOM, the Sea Lion 3, quote, will maintain the same capabilities of Sea Lion 1 and 2 with minor modifications to implement improvements in the areas of reliability, availability, maintainability, and safety. These changes include an upgraded fuel system with two 450-gallon day tanks and two 500-gallon fuel tanks located aft. The Sea Lion 3 will also have room for seven crewmen, plus 12 fully armed Navy SEALs, and two 1,500-brake horsepower 10B 2000 M93 diesel engines. Equipment and sensors included, the latest variant is expected to displace over 80,000 pounds with a length of 80 feet, a height of 9.5 feet, and a width of 14.5 feet. In November of 2021, some of the Special Operations combatant crafts were seen during exercises at San Diego Bay, California, where the public got a taste of their incredible capabilities. Thank you for watching our video. Please like and subscribe to our Dark Documentaries channels to find more exciting historical content and the latest military technology. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to be notified of our newest videos. Stay tuned.